So I'm sure you've seen the signs, no shoes, no service, but what about no stinking potheads? A barber shop in Colorado <laughs> telling customers who reek of marijuana to go elsewhere. They're burnt up over the rules, saying it violates their state constitutional rights. But Steve, you say the owner has this one right. How so? Well, first of all, it's not about the sexual orientation, race, or religion. It's about uh, what you wear and what you go into that store smelling like. If you stink, why should the store have to serve you? It's also good business. It has a nice ambience. Families like to go there and knowing they're not going to have to... Yeah. <laughs> and Bruce, a lot of mothers have been smelling pot on their kids when they come back from a haircut. They don't like that and the kids are afraid that moms are going to think they did it. Well, I plead the fifth because I think my mom is a big Fox viewer, but I will say that you could be turning, you could be turning down a big uh, potential business here. So it's, I don't know if it's a good business decision because, you know, you might get a lot of big tipping dope heads coming into your store. I mean, you don't really know what the market of this group is going to be. So you might want to yeah. be careful of just how you deal with uh, okay. this growing group of people. I, I, I kind of agree with Bruce. Uh, you know, maybe this barbershop can then charge uh, $500 haircuts like the kind Senator John Edwards did. There you go. He's got, you know, if you have these pot smokers <laughs> coming in, they won't even know the difference. No, I agree with Steve, actually. It's children uh, or were affected yeah. by the marijuana. Rick, uh, Rick, when kids are involved, you want to take exception, right? No, you know what? Kids aren't involved. They're not smoking a joint. They're just walking into a place where somebody smells bad. I walk into a lot of places where kids smell bad. That doesn't mean that I shouldn't be allowed to be there. I wonder if these well. guys ever had a drink and, uh, and, and went into a Walmart. Should they have been tossed out because well, they had a little alcohol in their breath? But Michael Zanian, I got two words for you and Rick, and that's contact high. I mean, you know, sometimes you can do that. Go ahead, Mike. You've got to actually be smoking. Go ahead, You'll probably end up with two kinds of barbershops. One, like Steve and Elizabeth described, where they don't have the smell of marijuana, and others where they do, but they may actually grow faster. Maybe they'll sell cupcakes, Oreos. No, Who knows? For, you the, know? for the munchies. You have 10 seconds, John. Go ahead. Whether it's or not it's good for business, Business is not the point. In the U.S., we have property rights. If you don't want to serve someone, you shouldn't have to. If you don't want to serve someone with a red tie, you shouldn't have to. This is America. Okay, this is indeed America, as strange as it, it, it has become.